your people free with love and liberty and I could walk with you every night and every day you're the father of creation the reason love of God you're the one who walked away from the your people free with love and liberty and I could walk with you every night and every day we come into your presence to sing a song to you a song of praise and honor for all the things So, fresh manna, today we want to discuss the faithfulness of our covenant-keeping God. The faithfulness of our covenant-keeping God. Because indeed, uh, God is a covenant-keeping God. And He is faithful. He is faithful. And our reference scripture today it will come from Deuteronomy 7 and verse number 9. The Bible says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is a God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with, ne- with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Let us pray together as we start. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for giving us yet another another moment even to discuss your word. I thank you, Jehovah Father, because you follow your word even to perform it. And today I pray that my God, that you will follow your word even to the hearts of my hearers today. My Father, so that this word may transform and change our lives to the glory and honor of, of thy name. We thank you this day and we bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, it is very important to learn, uh, you know, to know many things in the Bible. For the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Without the knowledge of the word of God, we, would, we, we, we can perish. But if we have that knowledge and liberation of the word of God, then we will live even as we live by it. So, the faithfulness of our uh, covenant-keeping God. You see, God is a covenant God. And he is a God who is faithful to the covenant, to his covenant. The God we serve is a faithful God. He is, a, he is faithful in keeping his covenant with the redeemed or with those people who love him and keep his commandments. And the Bible says that he, he, that, uh, he is faithful mm-hmm, to those that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Not only today, not only tomorrow, but we're talking about a thousand generations. So it is important for us to know and to relate with this covenant keeping God. So a covenant is a divine agreement between God and man. So every covenant has a condition that must be met by the parties before it can be put to effect. So indeed, it's a sacred agreement between God and his children. 
So, and he set specific, uh, specific conditions, you know, and he promises to bless us as we obey these conditions or commandments. So, we need to know that, and that is very, very important. Even as we relate to God, we need to know that he is a God who keeps his covenant. He keeps his covenant, and we should also yeah, keep our covenant. So making and, uh, and, and, and uh, working uh, on covenant or relating to God through covenant, he helps us to receive our blessings. We receive our blessings because of keeping the covenant with a, 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 a God who is faithful to keep covenant. So our covenants are, you know, they guide us to the choices that we have to make yeah, in this world, to the choices that we, 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 we can make in a relationship with our God. So we need to be guided even as we make these choices, you know, so that they can help us also to receive, to receive the temptations. So as you know, we have uh, three, about three or four major, uh, major covenants that are listed in the Bible. I think there are more, but um, we will look at these later. But we know, we know there's a, um, an Adamic covenant that was broken by Adam and Eve. Then we have an Abrahamic covenant, you know, that was made between Abraham and God, you know, during the time of Abraham. And then we, we, we know there is also Mosaic covenant that was made between uh, the children of, uh, of Israel and God at Mount Sinai, Sinai. So, and then we have the Davidic covenant, and then we have uh, the... Uh, the new covenant. So we're going to discuss all these covenants in the uh, in the in the next uh, in the next sessions. But I want us to know that our God is always faithful on His part of covenant. And we're going to read Deuteronomy 34 and verse number 10 to 16. The Bible says, "Then He said, then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you." Before all your people, I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Verse number 11. Obey what I command you today. I will drive out before you the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and Jebusites. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going, or they will be a snare among you. Break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, and cut down their Asherah poles. Do not worship any other god, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Be careful not to make treaty with those who live in the land, for when they prostitute themselves, to their gods and sacrifices to them, they will invite you and you will eat their sacrifices. Verse number 16. And when you choose some of their da daughters as wives for your sons, for your sons, and those daughters prostitute themselves to their gods, they will lead your sons to do the same. This is a treaty or an agreement or a covenant that God made at one time with the children of Israel. In fact, uh, you know, with the representation of Moses. And God is very faithful in his own part. But that was a kind of a condition that he put in that covenant. 
And it is important for us to know that God eh, is so faithful on his own part. If we hope to enjoy the benefits of the covenant, then we have also to be faithful on our part of covenant. God will never disappoint. He is always faithful to his covenant and he requires and, and he requires you know, the same faithfulness from you and me who have a, a covenant relationship with God. Me and you today, we have a covenant relationship between us and the Lord Jesus Christ. And we then need to be faithful because Jesus on his part remains so faithful. So if you are going to enjoy the covenant promises and provisions, then we must come into covenant relationship with the covenant keeping God. We need to come to an agreement. We need to come to a pact or a covenant with these these, uh, these, these, uh, these faithful God. Sin and, li- and licentiousness actually make men to be out of relationship with God. Because the Bible says in Moses 3.3 3, that two hmm, cannot work together except they be agreed. Except they be agreed. And that's why hmm, we're talking about the two parties in a covenant. So, God and you, you know, God keeps his covenant and therefore we should also keep our covenant. We are talking of a holy God who does not change and man who is actually sinful. (laughs) Hallelujah. So, it is not a joke. God is holy and cannot change. Man is sinful and must repent and come to, uh, to the Lord for salvation and reconciliation. That is the only time that we shall be members of the covenant together with God. When there is sin in our lives, then it means we have broken a part of our, 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 you know, our part in the covenant because God is holy. And for us to keep that covenant with God, we must be holy. We must be holy. We must forsake sin. Hmm? We must have faith in God. And we we, we we must ask for forgiveness all the time so that we may receive power back as children of God. The promises of God, the Bible says, are yea and amen. But if we do not keep that, if we are not faithful to keep his covenant, it will be hard for us then to receive, you know, the, the, the blessings of God. Although they are yea and amen, there is a condition that we have to keep a, our part in the COVID, uh, of the covenant with God. God is faithful to all people that live that lived even before us, just like Abraham. Until today, God does not change. When he, skip, he say, talks about keeping his covenant, he remains that way because he does not change. He is faithful you know, from generation to generation. So today, he is the same God. He is the same God. Mm-hmm. The Bible says he changeth not. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Even today, he is faithful to his covenant with the redeemed of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is actually the head of the church. So all that he requires from you and from me so that we may enjoy the covenant provisions and promises, eh, you know, is to be faithful because he is faithful. That's why the, the Bible talks about faithfulness of a steward. In First Corinthians 4, first number 1 to 2, we need to be a people who are faithful to our, you know, faith, to, to our God who is actually faithful. Praise the name of the Lord. So our partnership uh, with God 
is so then very important. We are going to enjoy the covenant promises and provisions mm -hmm. if, we, if we have to keep the covenant relationship and partnership with a covenant-keeping God. Praise the name of the Lord. And like I said before, sin and unrighteousness makes man be out of the relationship with God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is holy and we must be holy for he is holy. There are seven things here that we need to note as we walk in partnership with a covenant keeping God. One, we must listen to the Lord and be faithful. We must listen to the Lord and be faithful. Number two, we must learn from the Lord and be perfect or be fiery. Number three, love the Lord and be fulfilled. Number four, live for God and be free. Mm -hmm. Number five, lean on the Lord and be faultless. Number six, look on the Lord and be fearless. Hallelujah. And number seven is labor for the Lord and be faithful. And be faithful. And then yeah, the, we will receive, if we observe that, we will receive the promises of our, of our covenant keeping God. Because the promises of God, in fact, like we said, are yea and amen. And we need to be Faithful to God to receive those, those covenants. Otherwise, whether they are here and amen, it will be very hard for us to receive them. Hallelujah. So even when we pray, I'm, I'm, I'm just finishing. Even when we pray to a covenant keeping God, we should bear in mind eh, that eh, he will answer our prayer mm -hmm, if we continue keeping our part of the covenant. We need to be faithful to God so that he will answer to our prayers. It's not only answering our prayers, but we need to know as we play, our, part, our biggest part and our greatest part is to keep our part of the covenant. If we keep our part of the covenant, then our God will answer our prayers because God indeed answers prayers. He has power to do all things and keep his covenant with his children. But the problem is when we fail to keep our, 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 our covenant or the, our, our part in the covenant with God. He, com he has actually commanded us to pray. And even though he has commanded us to pray, because the Bible says in Luke that men ought to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. He has commanded us to pray. But even though he has commanded us to pray, for us to receive the promises and the provisions of the covenant, we must also be obedient to our God. We must live a holy life even as we pray unto him. And that's why, you know, most, many of us, most times, I would say most times, we have a, we, our prayers are, never, are not answered. But the problem is not God because God keeps his, his covenant. He is faithful to keep, to keep that which is committed to him. So we need to look at ourselves and ask ourselves questions. Why, why uh, is God not answering, you know, my prayer? Then look at the, your part in the covenant. You need to be obedient to God. You need to live a holy life so that God will be able to answer your prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are we talking about? I am saying that God is faithful. God is faithful. He keeps his, 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 his covenant. He, he releases his provisions and his promises unto us. But we need to keep 
our part of the covenant by being by by obeying the word of the Lord, obeying him, being holy because he is holy. Remember, a covenant is a sacred sacred agreement between God and man. And God is holy. So for us to keep that promise or covenant, then we should be holy for he is holy. So the type of prayer that God receives and always answers is a, cov- is a prayer that uh, is based on the covenant relationship with him. So when we keep you know, our part of the covenant, then our prayers will be answered. He will answer our prayer because he is faithful. If we are faithful, he becomes faithful. Praise the name of the Lord. So even as we pray, even as we plead, even as we petition, we need to know that uh, hmm, we have to be faithful to our God. Because he keeps his promise, then we uh, and covenant. Then, uh, as on our part, we need to be a people who keep, you know, our covenant, so that that relationship between us and God will remain cordial, will remain, you know, effective, so that our prayers will be effective. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, saints. I want to. I want to. Uh, 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 reach there today, but I want this is only uh, 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 this is only uh, uh, some kind of foundational work that we because I want us to go through this series for a time so that we may understand what a, what covenant means to each one of us. But remember eh, that our, we serve a God who is faithful. He is a he is faithful in keeping his covenant to us as his children. And we should know that it is our duty yeah, to keep our part of the covenant. Because a covenant is actually a divine agreement between God and man. It's sacred. Sacred agreement. That means holy agreement mm-hmm, between God and and his children. And we should uh, we should be faithful to keep the specific conditions so that we may receive the promises of God and receive the blessings of that God has promised us. Praise the name of the Lord. As we continue with this series, I want us to meditate meditate up, uh, upon the word of God that talks about the covenant, covenant. And this is another thing I want us to know, that we, God does not allow people to live in many covenants at the same time. He makes covenant with man, and there is a time that, ex- that covenant expires, and another one comes in, and another one comes in. There is no time God will deal with man you know, uh, using the old covenant. He uses, he comes up with a new covenant. And we are going to learn all that next time. Up to their viewers, I want to, uh, to believe that you have understood that portion before we go to the next uh, part, next time. Otherwise, may the Lord God bless you. Let us pray together as we wind up. My God and my Savior, I want to thank you because you are a faithful uh, covenant-keeping God. How I thank you, Lord, because you are faithful. You are faithful in keeping your covenant with us as your children. And I pray, my Father, that you will help each one of us to continue and maintaining, you know, our this covenant by being faithful to you, by being obedient to you, my Father and my God, I pray, even for my viewers, 
from wherever they are listening with love from whatever they are listening from and i pray my father that you will help each one of us my god to be a people to be a people who are faithful even to keep uh, the covenant that we have uh, between us and the lord jesus christ father i want to thank you and i want to bless your name I pray, my Father God, even for my viewer right now, hmm, them that are sick in their body, I speak healing upon them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Them that are needy right now, I pray, my Father, that God, who is an abundant God, release his bless your blessings upon each one of us of them in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare and decree peace love joy upon their lives today in the name of the lord jesus christ i thank you lord and i bless your name in jesus mighty name and now i just love you bless you all my praise is back to you and Lamb of God, you're the one who walked away from the empty to that day, and you set your people free with love and liberty, and I can walk with you every night and day. The reason, Lamb of God, you're the one who walked away from the empty to that day, and you set your people free with love and liberty, and I can walk with you.